beautiful snake. What's up, you checking me out? You just ate recently. I'm gonna fill up the can full of water and we're gonna get Kevin into a nice bath. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Chandler's Wild Life. We are here in the snake room. You can hear a cantankerous rattlesnake. You can see the backside of a huge king cobra going into a box. It is crazy. It's a hectic room full of toxic snakes. The best way to see this room is not with this light, but the rest of the light's set up. So let's get this off. And there we go. And guys, the first thing I'm noticing is Kevin is completely out of the box. This is Kevin. He's a Malaysian King Cobra. And he's actually around 14 feet long. He is a massive, massive venomous snake. Now, he is the longest venomous snake species on the planet. They can get upwards to 16, and there are records over 17 feet long. They are massive, beautiful snakes and they are cannibalistic. They will eat their own species, so right now Kevin does not have a girlfriend because I'm kind of spooked to give him a girlfriend. <laughs> now, as you can see, Kevin is paying attention to the camera. He is focused and he's wondering what is going on. Now, he was deep in shed about a couple days ago. Deep, deep blue eyes, and to help with the shed, I wanted him to get a little bit of moisture on his body. So what I want to do is soak this animal. It's real good to soak these guys once or twice a month to make sure they're hydrated. Not just will the water help the animal with shedding, putting them in the water helps them drink. When you put them straight into the water, they start gulping it up and they start hydrating. So it's really good with them to make sure your snakes hydrate. Even if there's a bowl inside of the cage, sometimes snakes won't drink out of bowls. That's just how it is. You gotta replicate what they experience out in the wild. For example, over here, my Wagwas Viper, also known as the Temple Viper, lives up in the trees and on the edges of temples. So when it rains, he drinks off leaves, he drinks off his own body, branches, so that's how they get hydrated. Now with the King Cobra, he might find himself in a rainstorm, drinking out of puddles, or he might find himself crossing a river, and he stops at the edge to start drinking water. So what I'm going to do is take this King Cobra out as safely as possible, well, in my version of safely as possible, where it's comfortable for me, hands-on technique. I'm going to take the King Cobra out and put him into this can right over here. That's a locked top. I'm going to fill up with lukewarm water about this high, and he's going to soak in there for about 40 minutes, and then I'm going to take him back out and put him into his enclosure. And while he's soaking, I can look around his exhibit, make sure it's nice and clean, clean out the papers in his hide box. Now he's on high alert right now. These bright lights are for you guys to view, and it's also when we film, so you guys get a good shot of him eating his food, which is other snakes, because he's cannibalistic, so pythons of all pythons. The thing about this lighting, it's very bright. We don't keep this on all the time. This is just for when we're in here, and it helps with filming. It illuminates the cage. The main light that stays on is over here. It's the heat lamp where he can bask, he can absorb the heat, and it helps him digest his food, and it's on for a certain period of time throughout the day. Everything in here is on a timer, so it simulates the natural world instead of it being on all day, all night. There is a nighttime, daytime cycle. Now, I'm gonna make sure uh, that door's nice and closed. I'm gonna fill up the can full of water, and we're gonna get Kevin into a nice bath. Now, before I pull out this King Cobra, for the people who are new to the channel, let me explain this to you. Here in the state of Florida, you must have licenses to own these animals. All cages must be locked. All animals must be kept in a room that's Florida Fish and Wildlife Inspection approved. So a Florida Fish and Wildlife officer actually has to come to your snake room, inspect it, check every nook and cranny, make sure nothing can escape. So this room is snake proof, it's locked 24-7. Each and every cage is locked itself. It's all labeled. We have a bite protocol, so if anything would ever go wrong, we get bit. Every species in the room is documented. The effects of the venom, what type of venom, what kind of anti-venom you need, if there's anti-venom available, who to talk to, who to call, what hospitals are nearby. We are over-prepared for this kind of stuff. So for the rest of the video, enjoy me handling my King Cobra, bring him out to get a nice soak, or for this video, a bath. Let me call you. Let me call mom. Let me call you. I'll call you back. I need it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Anyways, I'm a professional, and everything we do here is as safe as possible. So he is halfway in the box. Let's see what we can do here. 
he's probably going to shoot right into that box, honestly. Oh. All right, what I want you to do is back up. Okay. To way over there. Oh, and looking use, at me. <laughs> use it's coming together, boy. <laughs> yeah, use the zoom on that camera. Stay way over there. Because he is getting ready to charge. He's posturing. He's seeing what's going on. Getting a new box. Yeah? Alright. So I went to the box. There we go. Not exactly how I planned to do it. But it works for me. So this box is locked up. And what I'll do is bring the main box right into the corner where you're standing, actually. I designed this box myself. The design was inspired by much older Cobra keepers over the years. People that I looked up to, that I do look up to to create these designs to safely handle these animals because otherwise I would have a hide box and every time I would flip it I have to handle the king cobra. This way, whenever I do maintenance with the animal, he can be in his box, I lock it up, go inside, clean out the poop, easy as possible. So only once in a while I actually have to handle the animal. Now I like to keep this animal nice and calm, I don't want to stress him out. So that's why when I take my hands on approach, it's real calm to keep the animal calm, myself calm, really everybody calm. I've been working with snakes my whole life. I am 21 years old, yes, I know I'm very young, but like I said before, I'm licensed. I've been doing this for a while. You have to work with these animals for no less than a thousand hours with each family. So I've been around a lot of people growing up, I learned from a lot of good mentors, and I've worked at a lot of different facilities, seeing the different techniques how to do things. This is the way I feel most comfortable with it. I never recommend for anybody to approach a venomous snake or handle it out in the wild. So please guys, enjoy these videos, don't replicate them. Look how beautiful this snake is. He is as voluptuous as he could possibly be. Now, he is a very large, full-bodied king cobra, beautiful snake. He is on the diet of ball pythons and wild-caught Burmese pythons out of the Everglades. Here in Florida, they're invasive. So they're commonly brought in dead, and the carcasses are disposed of, so instead of wasting them, I give them to my king cobra. I freeze them for about two weeks, kill off all the parasites, defrost them, and feed them to him. So, good way to get rid of invasive species here in Florida, I've got my king cobra. Notice how he's posturing, he's hooding up. If I make the wrong movement, he's probably going to shoot completely out. So let's see. You doing the salsa, bro? Doing a little bit of the salsa. Notice how full-bodied this king cobra is. It is a beast of a snake on a healthy diet of pythons. Now, Burmese pythons are found in Southeast Asia. This king cobra is a Malaysian king cobra. So, python is a great source of food for this animal to eat. All right, guys, I'm gonna put Kevin right in there. There we go, come, come get a good look at him. He's in the water now. He's gonna, oh, watch out, watch out. Kevin, would you? It's gonna right there. Whew. All right, now we're gonna leave him in there for about 30 to 40 minutes. Nice and soaked and hydrated. We'll bring him back out, put him back in his enclosure. I want to change these papers inside his box because as you can see, he's been pooping inside here, marking up his territory. So that's a bunch of dried up King Cobra poop right there. If you ever want to see what that looks like. It's real dry. Real gross. Yeah, look at that. And uh, his diet consists mainly of reptiles, so not a whole lot of fur you can see in his diet. Okay, there we go. Hey, 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 yeah. quiet down. We're about to start filming. <laughs> she, hey! She's just saying hello. <laughs> That's the Western Diamondback. Now, here in the snake room, We've got some beautiful rattlers. This is the Western Dimeback that we've got, and you can see that is a thick, healthy little one. Look, look at the bum. Look, look at the back side of this animal. Down near the, the last third of its body, that is a thick, healthy snake. 
She did just eat recently too. I'll give you a whole new room tour since everything has changed so much and uh, also for the new people following the channel. So we'll do a new room tour for another video. I want to get back to this because Kevin is done with his soak and I just need to finish replacing all that newspaper in his box. So Kevin's box is ready to go. Get a nice spray, clean it down. I'm going to close that part so it's nice and secure when I take it out next time. Don't want any surprises. And... This box is really, really light. It only weighs about a pound. Look at this, look at the monocled cobra. What's up, buddy? This is Big Bertha, she's a monocled cobra. She's a beautiful snake. I've known her since she was a little tiny baby. About like that long, hissing, striking. And uh, my friend raised her up, and then eventually he decided to uh, put away the snake cook and tongs and raise up a family, so he gave me this monocled cobra. Beautiful snake. What's up? You checking me out? You just ate recently. Now that snake, ooh, that snake is not my pet. Don't think she's friendly. She's just inquisitive. She wants to see what's going on. She wants to know if she's getting fed. She's paying attention to the movement of my head back and forth. Look at that. All right, we'll let her be. So I'm gonna push that box right in there. There's enough space for him to go around the backside and hide behind the box. And I'm gonna open up the latch so it's ready for him to go back in. There's a little bit of urate and poop right here. I'm gonna take that out. This is, uh, if you're new to the channel, this is what you would call a spicy meatball. Huh. Make some space for the king. I'll put all this stuff over here. Everything's good to go. I just gotta sweep the room. Let me close this door. Get the cage ready for the king himself. Put him back on his throne. So, let's see where our king is at. Let me just turn off this fan. Oh man, every time. <laughs> That's a blacktail rattlesnake. He's so cool. Arizona blacktail, beautiful. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now, I'm gonna see where he's at. He should be settled down, drinking water, soaking up. Housekeeping. Come take a look at the What an impressive animal. He's been in there for about 40 minutes. He's gone a good soak. It's gonna help out with his shed. And he's nice and hydrated now. Awesome. You can actually see some of the skin coming off right there. Perfect. Could you show us again? The skin? Yeah, where's it getting on? Right there. There's some skin floating right there, right there. And when I handle them, that skin's probably gonna break off in my hands. I'm gonna show it to you guys. So what I want you to do mm -hmm. is back up just a bit. Let me see what kind of temperament he's in. All right, back up. What a magnificent, what a giant snake, dude. Look at that. Beautiful snake. One of the most respected animals on the planet. The King Cobra. To be in its presence is a blessing. I've been working with animals my whole life. This isn't something I just picked up and I grabbed a camera and started filming. It's not like that. I've been into this since I was a little, little kid. I've been wrestling alligators, doing snake shows, guided tours in the Everglades since I was 13 years old. I've been infatuated with reptiles my whole life like a lot of young boys, and nowadays, girls too. Everyone's starting to realize how beautiful these animals are and how much respect they deserve. Now guys, he's focused on the movement of Mr. Joey Slam holding the camera. That's why this King Cobra's not paying attention to me. It is pretty insane right pretty now. Pretty insane, the King Cobra. This is the Malaysian King Cobra. So it's got a rusty gold color to it. It's actually the prettiest and it's the largest of all the king cobras. There are different types. There's a species in China, the Chinese king cobra. It's like dark black with white bands. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Beautiful snake, look at them. Oh man, look at that. It's incredible. Yeah, they focus on movement. And what's crazy is the king cobra is not actually a cobra. It's in its own genius. Ophiophagus Hannah. They look just like a cobra, but they're not. They're their own family. All right, guys, I'm gonna put him back in his enclosure. 
I gotta keep doing the hoop. Notice his body's still in the can. Look how big he is. Are you? Oh my gosh! Look at that. This is insane. He's so calm now. He's very calm. Look at this animal. Look how big he is. Now he's actually, he's gonna come out this way again, but look how large this snake is. Look at the girth. Look at my hands. Look at this. Incredible. This is a healthy, healthy animal. Perfect specimen. And this, this is more like behind the scenes of a facility because as of right now, I'm not open to the public. I do outreach programs and I go out to schools and, and I'll bring animals out like baby alligators and whatnot. And I'll teach kids about them, let them interact with them. Oh, look at Kevin, he's checking this out. He's like, what are you guys up to? So as of right now, I am a private facility, but within the next two years, I have plans for acquiring a larger property that I'm gonna fence in, and I'm gonna be keeping large crocodiles, I'm gonna have big cats, primates, it's gonna be a sanctuary, and uh, I can't wait for you guys all to be able to come and get your own private tour, and I get to walk you around the facility, let you feed animals, see animals up close. The King Cobra from behind the glass, of course, but uh, so much to see, so many wonderful things to come. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, put on your notification bell, stick around, see what the future holds. There's a lot to come. I'll see you on the next Chandler's Wildlife. Have a great night. I'll see you on the next one.